the up just in case anybody's still interested, right? So uh, Craig made a claim that with no plants, there'd be no, uh, with no bees, there'd be no flowers. I called him out on that. And the very first thing I said was, you can't ignore that this is in dispute. He immediately doubled down and said, it's not controversial. Nobody's on my side. This this isn't controversial. Everybody knows. So I went through a massive rant with him. He absolutely poo-pooed everything that I said and just laughed at me, ignored all my points. So then I went and made a video uh, on ChatGPT, which absolutely agreed with me. Every question that I asked ChatGPT, it was like, yeah, you're right. There are other pollinators. Yeah, bees do get transported around in trucks. Yeah, okay, I use the term genetically modified Chat GPT didn't like that because that's a specific term, but you all know what I mean. I mean, when they're, they're breeding these bees to be ginormous and eat ravenously and be immune to disease, I mean, it's genetically modified. Okay, it's done in a more natural way than literally going in and changing the genetics, but I think, I think you all understand what I'm trying to say with that. So ChatGPT agrees with everything I say. And remember, the first thing I said was, no matter which side of the line you fall on this, you cannot deny that it is at least in dispute. That's the first thing I said and the very first thing that he refuted by saying that it wasn't in dispute, right? Well, I've just shown him a video where it is in dispute and he's replied to the video and just said, no bees equals no flowers, uh... Bees equals plants and flowers. No bees equals majority now, just comes out of nowhere, of plants and flowers gone, fact to fact. He at no point said, okay, I'm sorry, I see what you mean. There is some dispute. There is some issues with it, but it's because he hasn't watched the video. He doesn't watch because he doesn't care because he thinks he thinks he's right without ever addressing any evidence. And that's pathetic. That's so sad. Look in the in the thumbnail that I've used. It's um, oh, you know, I don't take things lightly. You're a hundred percent wrong. You're a hundred percent wrong about bees. That's the thumbnail, and in the video, I prove that it is in dispute. There's an obvious reason why it's in dispute as well. There's a lot of money in bees, so it would be very easy for a massive multi-billion dollar corporation to pay some scientists to try to convince people that even though these bees uh, are invasive and even though they're gonna leave on a fucking truck and take all of the the goodness from your area with them and even though there's all these other problems that i'm so sick of repeating obviously these scientists are going to be like mm, yeah then they're, they're not that bad though there is some some research to suggest that maybe they're not quite as bad as people are saying. So yes, it's controversial. I fucking admitted that immediately. Right? Everything I've said is facts. I've never claimed, again, I don't vote, okay? So if it came down to 50% of us care about nature and 50% of you care about just having your crops and having your regulation, like everything's got to be regular and therefore bees are obviously better for you. You prefer bees, of course you do. You want to make sure that your shelves are still stocked with cereal. You want to make sure that on Mother's Day you can go buy your tulips. You want to make sure that all everything is for perfectly regular. Of course you prefer bees. I appreciate that. And of course you're going to fall for this lie that with no bees there's no plants because they're the only plants you ever see. And that's, that's absolutely okay. Go believe that. But don't for a second believe that we don't exist. That's the whole reason my channel exists is to say I exist. People like me exist. I am not a troll. I am a human being with a bigger brain than you. That's the problem. It's awful being right all the time. You've no idea how much of a curse it is. It really is horrible. I wish I was good at like, I don't know, fucking football or I cared about car engines or something freaking normal, like a normal person, but I don't. My, and my fun is sitting down watching lectures, is reading facts, is learning about things that I'm passionate about. And do you know what I'm very, very passionate about is nature. I've always had a fondness for insects and now I grow plants. So lo and behold, all this information kind of falls onto your lap when you actually care about this shit, when you actually go into it. I think, honestly, 
I think it, it's as easy to find out that bees are dangerous as typing in honeybees to Google. I think if you type honeybees into Google, you'll see, if you scroll down just a little bit, that there's a couple of people who've been asking questions like, what are the dangers of keeping bees? What are the, the environmental dangers of honeybees? These questions just literally just pop up. So how dare you, first of all, say it's not controversial, second, say that I'm 100% wrong, and then third, on that video, please go watch it, how dare you double down? Just be like, yeah, I'll, I'll address this video. You haven't addressed the video, fucking dickhead. You haven't watched it. Either that, or you've got the shortest short-term memory ever, and you don't understand a single thing that's going on. This is fucking crazy. Is this what happens when you have a vaccine? Go watch this guy's videos from before he got vaccinated and then watch his steady decline of health and mental faculty ever since. It is tragic. The man genuinely is so up his own ass, he just thinks he's right. He doesn't want to listen to anything that might disagree with him. And that's so weird for someone in his position with his job. That is so fucking weird. I don't have any respect left for you. How can I? If you consider yourself to be a debunker, yet you won't even do five minutes research and you're just telling me I'm wrong without ever proving it. There's no fact. There's nothing. Everything you've said, I've debunked or refuted and you just double down on it anyway. Who are you? Which one of, one of us is acting like a flat earther, you dumb fuck?